it's Zion Prepper here and I want to do a quick video and share with you what we do in terms of a emergency communications bug out bag and we have a couple of these each one contains something different and I want to show you what's in this one particular uh, bag and then I want to tell you how I got it because one of the questions I get asked pretty often is well how can you afford these and we're like many families we're on a very tight budget so I can't afford a lot of things which uh, requires me to be very creative on how we get them. Now, in the first pocket, the first thing that we have is a is a cell phone, and it was actually a seven dollar cell phone, and I'll show you that seven dollars for the cell phone, and I got that at Dollar General, Dollar General for seven dollars. Let me tell you, and I'll tell you why I have that, and I also have the the phone card that goes with it and I just simply paid ten dollars and for ten dollars I get thirty days worth of calls unlimited calls and the reason I have this cell phone is just as a backup if something happens where my primary cell phones are no longer used or usable I should say this is what I would use um, I'm a, first of all my disclaimer I'm a law-abiding citizen but should there ever be a time where I need to be stealthy uh, in that I don't want to be tracked I would use this cell phone here and I would not use my primary cell phones now I have no intention of doing that but in life you never know so what I do is when I buy this cell phone I never turn this phone on until I'm ready to use it if I were to turn this phone on right now hit the power button it would hit our local tower to get a signal and down the road others could locate me and say okay hey this is Zion Prepper the phone was first turned on on September 21st in this area, so we know it's him. So I would only turn it on uh, whenever I needed to make a call in a location that would not be in this area. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going anywhere. Um, the second thing in this bug out bag that I have is I always store batteries in there. and th These are for the walkie-talkies. And actually, they're not the transmitters. The Radio Shack HTX 202s. And here's the battery compartment here. I have two of these. Two of these in that box. HTX202. Now, I, there's some electronics in it. Uh, what I do is this box is EMP proof. Um, I am going to wrap them in aluminum foil as well. Now, let me tell you, I got these, and here's really the purpose of the video. The phone, $7. I got it on sale. The phone card, $10 for 30 days to be used only in an emergency. These are to be used only in an emergency as well. I have two of them, like I said. Let me tell you how I got them. I got them on Craigslist, one of them for free, and the other one I put a wanted ad on Craigslist. I said wanted, HTX202, uh, Radio Shack, receiver transmitter for a reasonable price. And it came back that a gentleman had called and said, hey, I have one, I'm trying to get rid of it, make me an offer. I said $10. He said, okay, if you're willing to drive out to where I am, so I used about $4 in gas, because I had to drive a little ways, but for $14, I have two of these. One was free and one was on Craigslist. I do it all the time. I put wanted ads on Craigslist. I'll do that for other communication devices. I'll do it for prepper gear. And because we're on a budget, I have to do that. I can't go buy things that are new. And you would be surprised at how many times people will come back and say, "Hey, I'll take that. You know, you know, I'll, or uh, I'll trade you, I'll trade you silver. I'll trade you a backpack for this." I do a lot of training or trading, excuse me, on Craigslist. I do also pay cash, but very, very cheap for things like this. So, use Craigslist. That's what I'm saying. You want to, you, you know, you want to be a conservative prepper. Craigslist is the place to do it. Obviously, be careful uh, when you meet people. Do your homework ahead of time. Make sure you go in pairs, etc. Um, I've never had a problem, but I've seen it on uh, national TV as well. So, I'll just kind of finish it out uh, with what else I have in the bag. Um, for those two radios, I also have an antenna, and this is a pretty lofty antenna, but uh, it would probably allow me to transmit pretty far, even though I've not done that yet. And I have some other things in the bag, but we'll save that for later. By the way, um, this I purchased for $5 on eBay, so can't beat that. 
All right, use Craigslist uh, and make sure you have a communications bag. I also have a maps of or have maps of the entire area as well as all the back roads to our bug out location in this. So Zion Prepper saying, use Craigslist. Thanks. Have a great day.